Brian is with us in Rochester, New York. Hey, Brian, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, thanks for your wisdom. Really appreciate all that you do. Our pleasure. How can we help? So I'm in kind of a conundrum, and I wanted to get your advice. Um, I have about $98,000 in cash on hand, 150000 in a retirement account, 51 years old. I owe 61000 on my business mortgage. That's the only debt that I have other than a couple of car loans. And I'm wondering if I should pay off the business debt or invest that money into my retirement. I'm, I'm afraid that I just don't have enough saved for retirement. At what do you age. make? Uh, our bring home is around 75 Okay. How long you had the business? Too long. Okay. What's Probably, that mean? <laughs> that means uh, 20, uh, 29 years. I mean, too long. I mean, like you don't want it anymore? What do you mean? Uh, Well, you just kind of burned out on it. What are you going to do with it? Um, I mean, at this point... Really, my only choices are to either sell the real estate and go into other ventures, or just continue doing what I've been doing. And how old are you? Fifty-one. What's your business? It's retail. What what burns you retail out? Sales. What's burns you out? Uh, just twenty-nine years of doing it and not being as far as I thought I should be at this point. Hmm. The seventy five thousand your income or does your wife also work outside the home? That's combined. What does she make? They're right around bring home is right around um fifteen. Okay, so she works part time. No, she's full time, but a lot of the money goes towards uh uh health insurance. Okay. Well, there, there's several things. I, I'm going to answer several questions that were not asked. <laughs> I'm okay. not going to be 51 and be going for the next 20 years till I'm 71. I'm going to work a business that I'm sick of and that I don't make much money at. Why would you do that? What's the real yeah. estate worth? Um, Probably around 200. Yeah. I think you'd be better off being a landlord and get a job. Or you'd be better off starting another venture of some kind, like you said. What would yeah, you do, right. Christy? Renting. Yeah, I think I think you have an opportunity to rethink things. And and you called in about paying your mortgage, paying you know, paying off a debt. But there's a bigger question at play. To your point, Dave, I'm going to answer questions you didn't ask. I think that the the assumption that you have to keep doing this and be unhappy when you're 51 is is not an accurate assumption. I think you have an op- opportunity to say, what do I want to do with the next 20 years, 30 years? And and this is obviously not the path. So what do you want to do? Well, that's going to help answer the question of what you do today with your business, with your money, with your debt, et cetera. But don't just make a decision today based on, well, I've got this debt. I've got this cash. I guess I should pay it off and just keep plugging along, going through the motions in your life. You're not you're not happy. You're not making great money at it that, that you what you want to be doing, what you're proud of, what you're excited about. You can hear it in your voice. You're not excited about it. So what what would excite you? What, do you, what, do you, what would you do if you could do something different? So I have uh, the, the money that we, the 100000 that we, we have cash on hand, we've earned by flipping some houses, some real estate that we've bought and held and rented and then sold in an upmarket. And that's what really kind of, you know, motivates me kind of, that's really where kind of my heart is. Cool. And I can do that. I can do that anywhere. And, and that's the luxury that we have is we can kind of go anywhere. Our house is paid off. Um you know, so we have, we yeah, have so the, the real estate that's worth 200000 is that what the 61 is owed on? Yeah. Okay. All right. And the business has absolutely no value, you don't think? Um, I re- I just don't think it does. It's it's retail, um, floor covering, and um, there's, you know, in, in a 30-mile radius, there's probably... 20 to 25 different locations. Yeah, but a competitor wouldn't want another location in your area? Mm, they may buy our vet, our customer list, but that's about the extent of it, I think. Yeah. 
Okay. Maybe I'm underselling it. Well, but. make make sure of that before you yeah before you undersell it because you're burnout, so you're looking at it with those eyes. You're looking at it with burnout eyes. There's someone else may look at it and yeah, see value I would in it. So I would talk you write to a competitor off. under a, under a non-disclosure agreement that says they can't talk about it. But I would talk to a competitor uh, that you think is a little that's doing well that is excited in the market and just say, hey, if I was to uh, if you if you were to look at this, how would you value it? And would you consider mm -hmm. it? And let's just let don't you don't name a price and you don't walk around with your lips stuck out. You say, you know, just just poking around here. I'm I'm really not that interested in selling, but I might if the price was right. And I want to know what you the kind of a number you'd put on it. And then maybe he's going to offer you something that makes your jaw drop. Okay. And then sell the real estate and put one hundred and forty thousand with your hundred thousand and do flips. Mm hmm. I'm having then, fun so now. Yeah, I mean, so my biggest, uh, my biggest concern is the lack of um, retirement at fifty-one. You're gonna and be fine if you're flipping doing... if you're flipping houses and making money. You can invest it. Right. You got all kinds of time to invest if you just get with it. But right, you know, dude, you know, truthfully, you're just you're you're burn up. And just, just yeah, a, your voice tone even it doesn't changed have energy. When, it changed when you started talking about the houses. Yes, the first Brian, time first it, time we heard energy in your voice. Yes, your voice audibly changed, and when you talked yeah. about that, no, you're right. you can hear it. And that's what's yeah. gonna that's what's also gonna fix the retirement thing. It's not it's not slogging it out here on something. Now, if you were making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year on this business, and it was gonna take four years to sell it or something, I'd, I'd slow your butt down, tell you to suck it up and man up and get it done. But this thing, you need to roll out of this in the next six months, and then you need to put that commercial property on the market. You need to start flipping houses and take some of that flip money and invest it, fully fund your retirement. And uh, you're going to have plenty of retirement, and you're going to make some money, and you're going to have fun again. That's exactly what I'd do. I'd pay off the cars today.